Welcome back. My name is Grandma Tasseka Haran, and we are here by the Mirror of the Truth. Welcome back to Quote Friday. The first quote is from Frederick Douglass, an American slavery um, rebel, an escaped slave from the plantations of the West and one of the leaders in that movement of freeing slaves from the whites in the United States and their kind of slavery. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Indeed, like other uh, philosophers um, said, like Schopenhauer, all truth passes through three stages. First, any truth will be mocked ridiculed, specifically by the ones who are profiting from the lie and holding them in office. Second state, people who are in power, the ones who profit the most from the lie, starts to lie and deceit. You did see it with people like James Hammond, government governor of South Carolina and you can see it in his letters on slavery. I will link in the description below if you want to see and read those lies of, of Mr. Hammonds. I have said you, it is pretty gruesome. And then last days. The states can sometimes take Ten, hundreds, sometimes even thousands of years to come to the last days. It's acceptance. That's when people are have no excuse anymore. The violent ones are arrested, decapitated, or uh, put in prison for the last sentence for the war crimes. Sometimes I don't get enough punishment, if you ask me. Slave men, uh, slaves did get one noodle. Um, if I remember good, a half acre of land. Or an acre of land. Slave masters were paid off. Also, even if you ask me, they should not get any compensation because they are have to give something up that they're in the first place don't own. Only own in their own matrix. If you ask me, slave masters should be with for at least a year, so they understand how it be to be a slave. And they know I think make that ex make that thing I get and become racist because then they make you understand how it feels. Second, the same thing we see in the animal rights movement. The media lies about that vegans are aggressive, lies about that vegans are lying, even their lies are very weak and anybody with an open mind and a scintilla of sound sense can hopefully see this fact. First, most vegans are pacifists. All most vegans I know, pacifists, pacifists, pacifists. They don't even hurt somebody how they're truly despised. Hunters and farmers on the other hand, they're killed and race and then abuse those animals they have taken care of. Which is cruel. If you are raising some living creature up and then you are sending it to slaughter or to be abused, I think there is something wrong with you. If you can do that, if you can care for some creature and then sending it off to be murdered. I think there is, there is something wrong with you. 
And you don't have, have, have created a bond with that creature. But you are caring for it. Only for a couple of seconds of satisfaction of your taste buffer and for hunters. I know some hunters think this uh, very humane to shoot deer into their heart. Like that bitch, oh, sorry for bitches, that are female dogs by the way. Of, uh, that was uh, in Good Morning Britain, I think, together with uh, Joey Carpson. Do you think it's okay to shoot you in your heart? Do you think it's a humane way to kill you? If serial killers are starting to kill people by shooting people in the heart, is that, is that humane? Is that humane according to you? So don't come up with a humane. Bullcrap. Do you know what is humane? Not killing. Just uh, harvesting plants. The majority of the plants, food on the planet is animal feed. F uh, lowest estimate 50%. My own calculations 70% or higher. Based on the amount of animals we are killing right now. Which is 70 Billion. By the way, in the seventies, we're making jokes of you and you are vegan, and I'll start become more. Come on, now people are starting to make more false accusations against vegans, just like they did to against Malcolm X. I did get at least two. Fake rape allegations against him when he was put in prison. The government is not always telling the true people. If you are against them, you're starting to lie. And if you are looking careful, if you look to, you know a little bit to do research, I think you are also known enough. If you're not. The government main interest is holding control, not spreading truths and information. Okay, maybe they're spreading truth, their truth, stuff you know, needs to know, the terror wants you to know. Must days will come soon, I hope, when people are awake from the matrix, when they unplug from the matrix. And realizing that we, what we do to animals is totally not okay, totally Nazi-like. Again, six million Jews and six uh, mental retards and those people. So, um, so those people have the right to call their genocide a Holocaust, but. Vegan and vegans and animal rights people have not the right to call what is happening in the animal agriculture industry in Holocaust when there are numbers of deaths on living earthlings. It's more than there have ever lived people in all history. Seven T billion. Seven T billion wild animals and just six million Jews. Also, Holocaust means the sacrifice of a male animal on the altar of God. It is from old Greeks. You're welcome. The opposite of love is not hatred. It is empathy. This world is a dangerous place, not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything against the people who are evil. Two quotes, different people. The first one is from a guy called Ali Wieso, and the second one, Mr. Albert Einstein himself. 
there are three basic aspects of all X-Men on this world. First, ego, egocentrism. Second, compassion. Then malice. All actions come from those sources. Some actions are maybe combinations of one. What two? But those are the parents of all actions. Only an action that comes from confession can be considered a moral action. Actions that come from malice are there only to corrupt and create chaos. Malice is mindless. It only wants to corrupt and create man. Ego. Ego wants to have power. The ego lack respect. It uh, can be very easily corrupted by malice. The person who are acting out of malice uh, see somebody that can make an um, enemy of. For example, with Nazi Germany. The majority of the German citizens did want to have a um, person to blame. Because they don't want to, people don't like to take responsibility. A majority of people and a majority of people are acting out of selfishness. Even if they don't realize it. They are not self-sacrificing. Self-sacrificing is often looked down on and foolish considered in our culture. So basically that's why our society promotes individualism instead of living in harmony. It supports unlimited growth. It supports free markets instead of a controlled market system that um, does not favor the rich. Actually, it, dis it should disfavor the rich so they don't become more rich and we get smaller prisoners. Of maybe that can work together instead of they are belonging all to a multiple headed scheme. What I call the Ponty scheme business. I call a big corporate multi tentacle industry, like big banks, for example. I call them just what are what are Ponty schemes. We have poor people, people that are not rich in the lower part. We have people that can buy more multiple houses and yards on the top have so much money they don't know what they have to do with it and then they waste it on stupid stuff like rich people often do capitalism free market capitalism capitalism like in America I think about it. I think about this quote. Capitalism like there is in America. It's an astounding stupid idea. It is so astounding that they assume that the most wickedest of men will do the most wickedest of things for the greater good of anybody. Think about that. Capitalism, feudalism. It's the only system we have tried. Stop calling capitalism different from feudalism. The only difference in capitalism is that you can choose your feudal lords. You have still rich guys on the top Rich families on the top, you cannot scrapple. Unless you want to suck their molar floors. 
If you want to know more about that stuff, I've made videos about that topics. Also, I consider myself not a polit politician. I consider myself a philosopher. So some of my ideas you might think are political, but they are for me are not. And uh, maybe the way I look to a situation or a specific word are different from the political party ideas in your country or even in my country. Because I analyze a word and I change that in the perspective that it should be if we were living in a um, same world. If we not were living in a world that did not take attention to etymology and true meanings of words. And don't come with me with the words change over time because of society's um, popularity. I'm not in the boat, mate. So if you have any questions about words I use and why I use them, open some etymology book. You may be nice, mate. So when darkness and light become dark, Reality split in a way, and the truth become invisible.